Hello. Hello. Hi, Abdul. Hello, Tanvi. Hello, Jason, Mohammed, Arush, everyone. <laughs> okay. So let's start the today's session. Yes, Jason. Um, my name is Jason. Jason. All right, Jason. <laughs> All right, so let me quickly introduce first Jalekta and then we will be moving ahead, okay? So who is Jalekta? Jalekta is an East London based on the, you know, the Redbridge-based tutoring platform, which is providing you KS1, KS2, KS3, 7+, plus, 9+, plus, 11+, plus, and all the topics we will be providing you. We include all the boards like CSSE, SAT, GL, FSCE, all the boards we would be covering, including independent schools, right? So what is the benefit with Delecta? We would be providing you notes, the presentation and practice worksheets, mock tests, past year questions with the solutions, expert counseling, everything would be in your session, okay? As you know, today is 2nd of August, which means today's topic is going to be coordinate geometry. Okay? Are you guys ready for that? Okay, okay. Let's start. These are our achievers. And you can see that, Abdul, your name is also there in this, right? <laughs> this is you. So he got the fifth rank. You know, 15 franc, I mean, 15 franc out of 500 kids uh, in the England. And some of the students, these are the achievers from Delecta. You can be also one. You just need some more practice with the time limit, right? Let's quickly start. So we first start with the basic one or two, and then we move on to the past year questions as well. As you know that X and Y, right? The first number in the bracket, and this is the second number in the bracket. X represents the number which is horizontally. Y represents a number which is vertically, right? This indicates the direction of anything, anything, right? I'll tell you, this is the first quadrant, second, third, and fourth. If I have a coordinate like B, I'll show you the coordinate. So I first find out what is X, what is Y. I look down, it is minus two. This is my minus two. I write minus two comma three for Y. So the coordinate for B is minus two and three. We always write X first, which means horizontal first, and then the vertical, right? These were just the basics part, right? This is the question, which is the uh, just for the knowledge, right? Quickly check your knowledge. What are the coordinates of three points? This, this, and this. I'm giving the name A, B, and C. Write in a chat box within one minute. You have to write the answer within one minute. I received the answer from Tanvi. And one more time. And one more time, I received the answer. All right, all right. Perfect. All right, I received the answer from Jason. Hello, Hidam. From Mohammed. All right, so I received some of the answers. I'm going to tell the answer now. You guys can check since you time up for the question. This is going to be two comma one, then one comma four. And then three comma two. I hope you all are getting the same answer. Right? Okay. Now let's start with the good level of the question. 
this is your question i'm also going to share some tricks on the same question first i want that you would do the question within one minute maximum you can take 1.5 minute Your time is running. So your time out. Let's see who has given the answer. Only Jason. Well done, Jason. It's correct. Well done. Well done. I didn't get any answer except Jason. I think you guys are, you know, stuck in the part like you are making a line, line, line again and again. I think right. Am I correct? Are you making a line then go down like that? Don't do that. Whenever we would have these kind of questions, use trick. The trick says, first, if we are going up, which means we need to add the number. If we are going down, since as you know, the Y negative number is belongs to the, you know, downside. So we, whenever we go down, we take away, right? So not means up because we are going up because of the positive Y axis and south means down. So we take away the number. Similarly, if I'm going right, which is east, east means plus because positive x axis, but if I go left, it is gonna be negative positive. Similarly, three is gonna be south, which is negative three. Similarly, that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to solve everything because I need answer for x alone, for y alone. After that, we can make, you know, a coordinate. I'm using north and south together because of y. One unit north plus one, three unit south minus three, five unit north plus five, seven unit south take away seven, nine unit north plus nine. Anyone can give the answer for this? What is one take away three plus five take away seven plus nine? In the chat box. I'm gonna again give you a hint. Add positive numbers, add negative numbers together and then take away. So I am receiving, yes, Jason, Abdul, Tanvi, it's five. One plus five, I'm going to add the positive number. One plus five plus nine is 15. And 15 take away three and seven is five, which means we are five units up, northward. Positive five means up. Similarly, find out how many units we are on the y, I mean, x-axis, using plus and minus for east and west. I need answer from you guys for east and west. No, Abdul, it's not 6-6. Six, six. Work out again. Yes, Jason, it's 6 for the y, wait. It's six for this and it's this for this. So I'm going to get the answer, right? Which is six and five, right? I got five for the north and south, which means for the Y. And I got east and west, which is the horizontal axis, which is six, right? I repeat, I repeat my answer. Okay, Tanvi. I repeat my answer, what I did, since some students just joined right now. So instead of using a long way, like one unit up, two units right, three units down, four units left, like that, instead of doing that, 
I just use not as positive, south as negative. So one take away minus three plus five take away minus seven plus nine, right? And then we add nine plus five is 14 and 14 plus one is 10. I mean, 15 and 15 take away three and seven is 10. So the answer is five, right? Which means on the Y axis, it's just five units. And on the X axis, it's six units. So what would be the coordinate? Abdul Hafiz got the answer. Because X comes first and Y comes later. So on X axis, you are getting six and on Y axis, you are getting five. So it's six comma five. Yes, Jason? You have put, uh, let me check again. You have written six, five. Oh, it's no, five, six. Then you must be wrong, which was no one got the correct answer before I explained. It must be six, five. And how? And Jason, you just got the correct answer. You just have written wrong. Make sure that Y comes second and X comes first. Clear? Okay. No, snail is not doing that, right? Right. We learned that this is sluggish snail, right? Which is going in a straight direction because the directions are given, right? So we would take the direction as the graph paper. Even if I do the same question on a graph, I'll even show you on this. So we go one unit up, two unit uh, right, three unit down. So we again get the same answer. Clear? It's six, five. You can try at home uh, with the graph paper and what I shared, that's a trick. Okay, everyone? Okay, so I am moving ahead. This is your next question. For the plotting, you guys just write how many units right and how many units up in the chat box. But for C part, you can write down the coordinate of D. Yes, Abdul? The Sorry, what? For C, right? Yeah, the coordinates are given. You just have to mark. You just need to write how many units we need to take right and up. That's the point, okay? If the coordinate is six comma two, what we do with that? How many units we take across and up? Let me check. I received the answer from Abdul. From Tanvi. Uh, sorry, what? Oh, you can't see my screen, right? It's already shared. You can go on to the other screen if it is not visible to you. I think you are on screen. All right. So I have the answer. All right. I'm going to share the answer within 30 seconds. So you still have 30 seconds to write the answer, right? Okay. Mohammed, what is dollar sign in the answer? <laughs> Always check your answer. Please. That's my point. Always check your answer. Always. Okay. All right, I'm going to share now answer. Since for B, 
it's going to be we look down and then we look left it is going to be two and so right so you all are correct for c it is six across and two up so it is going to be this which means i'm just writing c and for the d i can see that there is a three unit difference i am having the same thing because in a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and in some parallelogram we have opposite sides are same as well right so if i join i can clearly see that this is going to be three lines and this is that clear everyone it is going to be d let me check now who got the same answer perfect i hope that no one has a doubt on this so let's move ahead so this is the 11 plus ilcb common pretest course so this is for the you know the students who are entering in year five or year six you can also give a test if you want you can just call on the numbers which is written on this okay or you can contact us on this Delecta. Now, it's a trick time. Since in a class and in so many, uh, you know, topics, you have seen there are a lot of tricks I've shared. This time, I'm bringing some new tricks, which I didn't share yet. So, first of all, I'm giving you a challenge question and then I share my trick, okay? So, my question is, what is 40 takeaway to third? Write in a chat box. You have uh, 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I need answer in a mixed fraction. Make sure. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right. I got the answer from Abdul Hafiz, from Abdul Mukit, and from... Jason, I need answer in the mixed fraction. I'm going to give you one more time. Let's check. This time, I will be just counting only. So your question is 51 take away 2, 7, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. No answers received. No answer. I received one more answer just. What is that, Abdul? What is 50 and 5 and 4 and 7? Okay, I'm going to tell you guys my trick. How can we do these kind of questions quickly? You know, when we have a whole number and then we have a fraction, which is proper fraction, we use the trick. First, we take away one every time, okay? This is going to be 39. And then we take away them together, which is going to be one third. That's the answer. Okay. Similarly, let's do the second question with me. We take away one. This is going to be 50. And then seven take away two is just five, seven. Did you guys get it? Everyone? Can we, I can't see you except the earth. Okay, okay. I hope everyone got it. Jason, did you get the trick? Mohammed, did you get the trick? All right, all right. Don't forget to use these kind of tricks in your 11th plus exam. That will be really, really helpful for you guys. Okay? All right. Now, I'm going to give you some question. I, I want to see that how much you got it. This time, again, I'm giving you 10 seconds. And I need everybody's answers in the chat box within 10 seconds, okay? Are you ready with your keyboard? <laughs> All right. So my question is 144 take away 2 fifth. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I received the answer from Tanvi, Jason, Abdul. Arush. No, Jason, we always take away one from the whole number, okay? Remember the rule. It's going to be 143, 3 fifth. 
Now, Elizabeth, we always take away one, all right? We don't take away any more number. We just take away always one. Most of the students are getting the correct answer. Jason, should I explain the trick again? No, you got it right. Don't rush, okay? Always think about it. You still have eight seconds. You can get the answer, but always before send, just check, okay? All right. Now I'm moving towards the next. Yes, Hiba, it's correct. All right. This is your next question, right? This is just a graph. I'm going to show you some question on the next side. This is the question. Read the first one. You guys have to write down the coordinates of A. This is your question. A and B, both. Quickly, within 10 seconds, I need answer. Well done, well done. I'm receiving the first answer given by Jesson. Well done. But you forgot to write down minus two and one is for like A or B. Yes, Jesson. Yes, Jesson. Wait, I give you the option. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I got it. All right, Arush. Abdul is fine. Both Abdul. Yes. Yes, Hiba. We have to find out the coordinates of A and B together. Right. Okay, so I hope everyone got it. B coordinate is going to be 3, 0. Right, so I'm going to write there, and a coordinate is minus two and one. Now, this is the plotting question, like we need to plot two minus two. Who will do it on the screen? Okay, okay. If you can give my answer, uh, like my question answer, then you would do, okay? The first person will be getting the chance to do on the screen, okay? My question is, what is minus one times minus two times minus three times minus four times minus five times minus six times minus seven times minus eight times minus nine times zero? The first person will be getting the chance. I thought I received the answer. All right, so the first person is Abdul, Abdul Hafiz. Second is Tandi, third is Abdul Muki. So, Tan, I mean, Abdul Hafiz will be doing on the screen. Yes, Abro, it's your time. You have to, uh, I mean, mark the coordinate of two and minus two, right? Yes, you can annotate on the screen. Where is two and minus two? Coordinate for C. All right, this is two and minus two, which is C. Okay, I just write down in a proper way. All right, it's fine. Now we are coming on to the next part. This is your next question. Read it. I'm going to again on the last part. Yes, Hiba. Oh, okay, Abdul. I just rewrite it. Have you guys read the question? Okay, so first do this, then I correct that. Yeah. Now, what is the answer right in a chat box? Just the coordinate for Y. 
I think I should give you time limit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, <laughs> 0. I receive answers. Well, it is going far now. It will be now for two more hours. So you have to sit with me for two more hours. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Exactly taking six hours. I just swap the numbers. Uh, I just rewrite it. Okay. It's just this. Yeah. No. <laughs> Within some minutes. Okay. So x coordinate is minus three. What would be the uh, like the other coordinate? As you see that this is two units, right? So this would be the coordinate, right? I got the answer. I was kidding, Abdul. I was teasing Mohammed. Okay, okay, so I can see that there are a lot of answers. Make sure that you would not take more than. For example, if you are thinking that this would be the answer, you can see that. We would have this, right? This is not the exact one because I can clearly see that there are only two boxes including, right? So we would include only two. Clear? Okay, now, we would be going towards the last one. We need to reflect the parallelogram A, B, C, D on the Y axis, right? Which means if this is our parallelogram, let me make with the line. Okay, now I want to reflect with the Y axis, okay? Which means Y axis is my mirror axis. You guys can take a picture and walk out for homework. Y axis is just the mirror axis. Make sure. Take a picture. Yes, definitely you can take, or you can take screenshot as well. Done? Okay. What thing? Um, okay, this is possible, you know. If something is on the left side and the right side, if I reflect it, right? So I can see on this, uh, you can see the underside, the other side is going to be the different one. For, for example, I just have this side. I'll show you. Oh. We need to reflect it in the y-axis, right? If the y-axis is this, right? This is the part which is coming on the other side and the other side is showing me the different part. If I reflect, it would be different. Yes, Jason. Oh, sorry. I give, give, didn't give you the option. Yes. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to give you that. Yes. Done. All right, so now this is also the reflection question. Take a picture. All right. Again, I'm going to give you more question for homework for practice. And sometimes marks are also written so you may know that how much score you will get for the correct answer, okay? So I hope that you guys have taken a picture. So this video will be uploaded on the YouTube and you can comment your answers in the YouTube video, okay? All right. Now the admissions are open for the first 20 students. We will be giving you 20% off as well as I have one more question for the homework. You guys can answer in the comment section, right? I hope you have taken a picture. All right. So these are the one-to-one -one sessions. You guys can take one-to-one -one sessions. You 
get a free demo from our side and we are providing everything right so you can book and for booking the numbers are written in the bottom right so these are the channels you can pick and your video is going to upload on this channel and you can comment your answers and if you have a doubt so uh, some of the students are just you know having a class with me you can ask me your doubts in that as well all right we would be having a next session as you know so we would be doing the next topic in that right definitely right definitely right okay so we'll meet you guys in the next session bye bye and take care bye bye